Welcome back. I want to talk to you about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and enable EDR in block mode. This is an additional layer of protection for when Microsoft Defender antivirus on the client is not the primary antivirus. And it's perfect for a situation where that primary antivirus cannot prevent malicious behavior or execution. And that's where Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection uh, is kind of sitting almost dormant, if you will. And it's using the same uh, client side and behavioral blocking and containment capabilities, and it's blocking malicious behavior in the background. So again, it's perfect for those type of scenarios. Now, what I'm gonna show you is first, what it looks like with this turned off. So let's go ahead and switch to my desktop here. I have WebRoot installed. Now we're just using that as an example. This is a third-party antivirus installed on my system. And you can see here in the Windows Security Center that WebRoot is the registered primary uh, antivirus on the system. And if we scroll down here to uh, manage settings, we can see that Microsoft Defender antivirus is actually disabled. Uh, Real-time protection is turned off. But I do have cloud delivery protection and automatic sample submission turned on. I'll explain why here in a moment but essentially WebRoot is the primary AV. Now I have a little uh, piece of malware here that I'm gonna run, and that piece of malware is going to trigger an event. So let's go ahead and run it. And this is normal. And then let's switch over to my incidents, and or my alerts rather, and let's watch it come in. So let's give it just a few moments. Now, as it's starting to come in, notice that WebRoot didn't catch anything. In fact, I'll just run it again for good measure. And you can see there's no notifications here. I don't have anything coming up. So that primary AV is not detecting it. So now let's go ahead and refresh our alerts and let's watch that new alert come in. Okay, there's the alert. So let's go ahead and click on it. And here we can see the uh, alert name. And if we scroll down, we can see it was detected, but nothing was done about it. It wasn't blocked or prevented. So now let's enable EDR in block mode under advanced features here. And when we enable it, we're going to wait about 10, 15 minutes for those changes to propagate down to my client. And just to prove to you, this is running Defender for endpoint, there's the uh, the services running, the processes. So let's give this a few moments. We'll come back and we'll try this again and you will see it get blocked. Okay, now with enable EDR and block mode turned on, let's rerun the malware and we should see Microsoft Defender for endpoint jump in. So let's rerun it. Look at that, there's a toast notification in the lower right hand corner. The application was removed because it was blocked by your administrator. If I pull up my notifications, there they are, and that's perfect. And so now if I uh, refresh the folder where this malware was in just a moment, it'll be removed and quarantined as per the policy. And look at that, hit a refresh and it's gone. If we go over here to Windows Security Center, I can see under current threats, uh, here's what it found and what it blocked. And then in just a moment, this should flow into the Defender Security Center. So let's just do a quick refresh there. I saw it come in. There it is. And there it was detected and then it was blocked. So if we take a look at these alerts, uh, we can see that um, there's a vulnerability that was exploited and it was actually prevented. And if we look at the next one, we could see that this one was blocked. So pretty awesome, right? Just a reminder, everything I'm showing in this video is used for demo purposes only and is just uh, as an example. Now I could talk way more about uh, the block mode, but I'm gonna show you some websites here that you might wanna do some additional reading on. I'll put some links in the video description to help you better understand what's happening. So here's the official documentation. I will link to that. And then here's the official blog post around EDR and block mode. And in this blog post, there is an awesome webinar that, uh, that the engineering team behind the product delivered. And it was done through uh, the SANS Institute. And so this webinar will take you through all about EDR and block mode. Look at these amazing slides here. Uh, so I definitely recommend you check that out. I will link to that as well if you really want to learn more about what's happening behind the scenes and how this works. 
So hope you found value in this. Again, EDR in block mode is ideal for situations where uh, the Microsoft Defender antivirus uh, feature is not the primary antivirus on the device and where the primary antivirus cannot prevent against some specific type of malicious behavior execution, where EDR in block mode, that's where Defender for Endpoint kicks in and takes over. Okay, if you found value in this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. It really does help me out. And I've got a lot more videos coming, so please stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.